Noticing how loose John is right now and his shaper, John Paisel, feeling the same. Let's see what he's got right here as he takes up to the top. Big loop de dip. Oh, there you go. John looking loose. Super tubes, it comes in a perfect A frame and it's just a left and right barrel and kick out and you're on the sand. John will find an opportunity. This one's going to stay open and it puffs John John out. The barrel is really top to bottom, really round. Just all together, a really fun wave. In the first heat of round two, Hawaiian John John Florence is up against local wild card Miguel Blanco. Here we go, this is Blanco. And he gets a nice check in the top corner. The second turn was nice, so the score will come from that second turn. John John Florence just taking care of business here, nothing too fancy, a tricky wave, so pretty good connecting float right there to finish. Blanco will come off the bottom. Lands it up with the roof float. Now that's a tight little snap, so this is going to be a useful wave too. John John's found the same part of the lineup, and John John will go to the air. Will he ride out? He will. And John John, he's got the win, and the all important win is he could not afford a 25th place stumble here. I would have been pretty bummed to go down you round two. Like, Ryan, just getting so. pushed that round noise is kind of nerve wracking, but uh, start to make it through. In the first heat, John John Florence faces Portuguese wildcard Frederico Morai. Round three is always a very interesting part of the draw because you've only eliminated 12 surfers. There's still 24 left. You survive that round three encounter, you really are finding yourself a keeper result. Well, here we go. Three or four years ago, Frederico took down Kelly. He's got a knack for taking down his big names. And that's that element that we love about the wild cards. Frederico Marias got going early. That allowed John John to measure himself, pretty much taking half the heat to activate his first ride. That is confidence right there. So showing to the judges, hey, I'm going to commit. I'm not going to patty cake this wave. He is drifting that tail oh. twice. That was definitely his best maneuver right there. And he's under priority gigs. John John looking to place the pressure back on Frederico Moraes. World title implications at play here. And John John Florence is navigating his way perfectly. Well, here we go. Frederico Moraes, there's still a chance. And it will be an official. Frederico Moraes, he's been outshone by John John Florence. You could see John John was comfortable in the yellow jersey. He made no mistakes for their victory. It is easy to get like caught up in like, oh, I can't lose to the wild card. And so I was a little bit nervous, but I just kind of focused on myself. Just had a lot of fun. The waves were really fun. 22 year old John John Florence is closing in on his first world title. The Hawaiian started 2016 with a renewed focus on competition. Welcome to the 2016 Samsung Galaxy World Surf League Championship Tour. John John Florence looking supercharged, ready for a big year. Made the corners in the Gold Coast, and then I went to Bells, and you know, I made a mistake at Bells and lost to Kyla. I was pretty bummed because it was such a close heat. Kyla Belly takes down an inform John John Florence. Wow. And then Margaret's, it was like the same scenario. John is shattered for the second time in a third round heat. Kyla gets the jump on the Hawaiian. Bonjour, good morning, and welcome to the Oi Rio Pro. I had a lot of fun in Brazil. I was just kind of just rolling through the heats. It felt like oh. John John Florence is going crazy in Brazil, oh, and that was a nugget right there. Your champion in 2016 for the Oi Rio Pro, John John Florence. The feeling I had in Brazil was just like, okay, I won that one. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Welcome back to finals day here at the Fiji Pro. We have a huge clash coming your way now. We're going to see the Jeep ratings leader against one of the best barrel riders on the planet, the new world number two, John John Florence. Matt Wilkinson pulling into the barrel. This thing's going to spit. Had the Wilco heat in the quarters, and that was just another thing of one of those heats for learning, you know? It was just like, I could have played the heat definitely a whole different way and hopefully would have made it. So when I got home, I just kind of sat down and watched the heat over and just like, okay, like these are the mistakes I made and this is what I could have done and was happy with the quarters. But I mean, obviously I want to win those events. Definitely a lot of ups and downs for sure. And it makes your mind just like spin so much because you're like, yeah, I'm the best. And then the next one you're like, 
damn it, I keep losing. And I lost again, and I lost again. And I've had so many losses in my career that it's like, you kind of learn how to almost use it to your advantage in a way, rather than take it and, you know, really hold that loss real hard until the next event. I analyze myself a lot, but I definitely analyze other guys as well, you know, Mick and Adriana and those guys. I see the heats that they serve real well and see kind of what they do. Like, oh, I did that, but Adriana or Mick would have done that. Then, you know, like I have my own things that I, I want to change for myself so that if I do get those guys in the heat, I'm not playing the same game against them. I'm playing a game to take them off their game. This year, I'm just kind of taking everything I've learned in the past and just being, okay, let's do this this way. You know, it's just trying it in a different way, really, and seeing how it works out. Sean John Florence shams it off the coping. Clear for takeoff. Tail high reverse. John John, late takeoff, slamming on the brakes to pull in. Nice and hollow, perfect positioning. He gets spat out. Welcome back to an early morning here in Portugal. You're watching round four action. John John Florence taking on Michelle Perez and Adriana de Souza. Gabriel Medina bowed out of the competition yesterday, so there's potential for John John to take a world title out here in Portugal. Florence driving into the pit. Pulls out perfectly. Oh. I was paddling into that wave and I was just looking at him like, oh, he might get it. And then I was like, I just got to go just in case. As I was getting to the bottom, I saw him just not get it. And like, he was just so perfect. John John, he's deep in there, we can tell you. And there he is. Florence seems unaffected by the pressure of a viable title and advances directly to the quarterfinals. Make as many heats as I can, just hopefully win this event. That would be amazing. The next quarterfinal is a matchup between world number one John John Florence and Australian Julian Wilson. As we lock onto Julian, deep and steep, heavy pit, drives through it. John John will have a look at a backdoor entry here. He's deep in there, we can tell you, and there he is. This is as deep as you can get. This score is gonna go through the roof. Julian Wilson driving down the line yet. Julian Wilson will come back into this with a great ride here. And that's multiple sections, including a last little funnel to work with. Oh, well, we have a duke out here, folks. John John Florence. The cruisy barrel right there, just stalling a little bit, but then basically just enjoying that barrel. Now get the horn. And that man there, John John Florence, is into the semi-finals. I feel super good right now. I'm relaxed, I'm happy, I'm getting barrel. I'm so just the energy you can feel it around here. Now with a quarter final win. You know, he could go two more heat wins and make it completely official to take out his first world title. Florence's world title campaign picked up steam in the second half of the year. Sean John Florence, a pull into the barrel and he makes it. Still more to give. Huge top turn wrap. Oh my. Back to back final appearances at the J Bay Open and Tahiti Pro earned Florence the rankings lead for the first time in his career. And with a runner up finish, John John Florence heads into trestles wearing the Jeep Leaders jersey. Once cemented at the top, the Hawaiian has remained relaxed and focused, which is a deadly combination for his competitors. The way he got here was by, look, by being relaxed and loose. When you have that confidence in your competitive game and your surf game, why change it up now? John John with the open wrap to start. Right hand is waiting for me. He'll just dig into it. That big 90 degree hack of his. Beautiful. Mentally, I just see him being more focused than I can even imagine. And I think it's just something that makes him even more confident and even more deadly. This kid is laser focused. Florence is now only two heats away from accomplishing a lifelong goal. He sets this goal. He wants a world title, and he was going to do everything he could to achieve that. And here's John John's turn to display the master of the modern era and land oh. like a cat. How's the Gumby mode right there? He flexed all the way on that front knee. 
This year, a lot different John John Florence we've seen. He's competing a lot better. He's surfing smarter. You know, he's, he's getting the scores when he needs to. He hasn't been falling off. And what that is equated to is the yellow jersey coming into this event here in Portugal. I think John John's done you know, exactly what he needs to do to put himself in that world title race. John's got a title on the line. It could be the biggest morning of his career. They are fired up this morning. John will find an opportunity. This one's going to stay open, and it puffs John John out. Kaloe is threading through the tube here. Just a beautiful rasp of the fins there. So John John Florence remains in the lead, holding priority here. If John John wins the semi-final, it takes Gabriel Medina out of the world title race. Now we pick up on the yellow jersey as it flies through the curtain here. And yes, he'll find the doggy door. It's like the wave just said, okay, you're John John, we're gonna let you out. Kaloe and Dino, now he needs a 9.84. To the air he goes. John John Florence, he has taken out semi-final number one. This eliminates Gabriel Medina from the world title race. So it's all about the big fella, the South African in the next team, Jordy Smith. He's the only man in the way of John John winning a world title. I'm just gonna focus up, get ready for the final, and just hopefully do my best. I'd love to win this event. And... Well, it is a huge day here in Portugal. John John Florence is one puzzle piece away from being crowned the world champion. If Jordy Smith does not win this heat, then John wins. Semi-final number two between Connor Coffin and Jordy Smith. It is so important. This is exactly why we watch competitive surfing. Jordy Smith brings the heat to life. Beautiful rhythm right there from Jordy. Uh, that was seamless. Connor Coffin's on an absolute nugget here, and he's threaded it beautifully. John playing it cool because this heat is not over. And Jordy will keep the pace going here. And he's in there somewhere. He's going to find his way out. And a 7.2, the best wave of the heat. There's so many different elements playing in to the vibe up here on the deck. It's absolutely crazy. It's almost weird. And now it's a monster out the back for Connor Coffin, who threads straight through the tube here. Wow. And out on the face for the wrap. What a showdown going on here. And there's more for Connor Coffin. Little double up section, and <laughs> Ross, it's a nine point run. So he just flipped the heat back over. 90 seconds to go, Jordy Smith looking for a comeback story in this heat. A countdown to finish now. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, destiny has been put in place. John John Florence is your world champion for 2016, and it's happened right here in Portugal. This is a huge moment for Hawaii, a huge moment for John John. Well, John John Florence, you have just fulfilled your destiny. I honestly can't even believe it right now. I'm so stoked. I've you know, worked my whole life towards this, and I just can't thank everyone. Connor! I can't believe I won the world title. <laughs> Hawaiian John John Florence is up against American Connor Coffin in the final of the Mio Rip Curl Pro. The matchup, it's an interesting one. John John winding up for a massive alley oop. John's so freakish in the air, he, he's got a big advantage. That is a good message on how he's going to approach his first heat as the world champion as he's up again. John flies through the air, almost connects with the drone. Connor Coffin locks in nice and deep. Well, it's up to him to try and win this thing. John's not going to give it to him. He's made that clear. Connor Coffin did find that one nice barrel, but John was just doing his thing out there, and it got him the win. Florence now up nice and deep. The world champ comes flying out. Let's see what he's got right here as he takes up to the top. Big loop -de -doop. <laughs> as we make it official. John John Florence, your male Rip Curl Pro Champion in 2016.
I still can't believe I'm world champ. And, oh, this has just been such a crazy year, and I'm stoked to win the event. I'm sick. And your new WSL world champ, John John Florence. To be world champ, it's been my goal since I was a little kid, watching Andy and Kelly battle for world titles. For it to end here and then win this event, and <laughs> I'm pretty surprised. I think the biggest thing for John is maturity. He found the structure, how to play the game. That focus, that concentration, it allowed John to win a world title. But the fact that he won a world title and accomplished one of his biggest goals in life, it's icing on a cake.